Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Friday, May 17th, 2024, Friday of the seventh week of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of, of the, the Son, Son, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ in the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 21, verses 15 through 19. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Sometimes failure can be a great teacher. In today's Gospel, we witness a powerful moment between Jesus and Peter. And this encounter is important not just for Peter, but for all of us who follow Christ. Jesus asks Peter, Do you love me? three separate times. And this isn't just a simple question. It has a much deeper meaning. Peter had denied knowing Jesus three times before his crucifixion. And now Jesus gives Peter the chance to affirm his love three times, making up for those denials. Jesus wants to heal Peter's heart and restore him. But for Jesus to give Peter the responsibility to care for his followers, Peter's love for Jesus is essential. Love is the most important thing for anyone who wants to follow Jesus and to be his disciple. Peter's love for Jesus has changed since his denial. It was purified by his failure. Peter now knows his weaknesses, and he knows how much he needs Jesus' grace. When he says, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you, he speaks with a new understanding of his dependence on Jesus. This love is born out of failure and forgiveness and is deeper and more trusting. We should ask ourselves, do we allow our failures to help us to love Jesus more and trust him more completely? Pope Benedict XVI asked an important question in his first letter, Deus Cartes Est, when he said, can love be commanded? This is a pretty fundamental question when you think about it. How can Jesus demand love from us? Isn't love just a feeling that we can't control? Well, the answer lies in understanding God's love. Love can be commanded because God loved us first. He doesn't ask us to create love out of nothing. He loved us first, and because of his love, we can love in return. Our love for God is a response to his love for us. 
For those of us who are parents, we can relate somewhat on a human level because as parents, we loved our children before they were born when they were still in their mother's womb. Just imagine how infinitely greater God's love is for us. Also, love isn't just a feeling, because feelings come and go, but true love lasts and grows deeply over time. Feelings might start out as love, but they're not the whole picture. Mature love involves our mind, our will, and our emotions. This means making a choice to love even when it's hard. True love, as Pope John Paul often said, is giving our whole selves to another person. Jesus asks Peter to follow him, even to the point of giving up his own life. This is the ultimate expression of love, to give one's life for another. Jesus calls Peter and us not just to feel love, but to live it out through sacrifice, service, and total commitment. So as we reflect on this passage, let's hear Jesus asking each one of us, Do you love me? Let's respond with a love that is made stronger by his grace, a love that includes our whole being and leads us to serve others selflessly. And so today, let's pray that our love for Jesus will show in our everyday lives, in our relationships, and in our commitment to follow him wherever he leads. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.